Hey, what is up guys? Chex here. Welcome to Plague Inc. Evolved, the $15 adaptation of the mobile phone game adaptation of the Flash game you used to play in tech class. If you're one of the 12 people that didn't have this game on your phone, or your mom shelters you from the outside world, then you might not know that the plot of this game is to infect the world and kill pretty much everyone. Ah, the simian flu. This is what infected all the people in Beasts of No Nation. Alright, what plagues do we have? We have bacteria, virus, fungus, neuroswarm, parasite, prion, Necrovirus, Justin Bieber, Nanovirus, Bioweapon, and the Simeon Flu, which makes its own special sound. This is the gene that makes people become ISIS members. This is the gene that makes people think, maybe I can cross this highway. This is the gene that Tumblr thinks they'll experience. I'm just not even going to comment on what these genes could possibly turn you into. And these genes are all completely made up words by scientists to make them sound smart. Casual, normal, brutal, mega brutal. Yep, that's the one we're going with. Look at how original I am, naming my play Justin Bieber. Alright, where do we want to start? What seems a very likely place for a bacteria infestation to kill off the entire world to take place? Definitely Canada. Alright, Fallout 4 has begun in Canada. It'll come to the US in two weeks though. This game is a better bubble popping simulator than one of those Windows 7 idle screens. Alright, we can upgrade Fallout 4 through several different things. Mosquitoes, rats, birds, word of mouth, hype train, reddit, the internet, a surprise trailer that launched when nobody was expecting and made everybody super excited, or water. Symptoms of Fallout 4 include mass hysteria, anticipation, and insane hype. Ah, uh, finally fall support is spread to the USA. I must say, for an adaptation of a mobile game, this is a very, very good adaptation. I mean, just look at the 3D map, the weather effects, the animated boats, and... We have entirely affected all the people, moose, and beavers living in Canada, and they've started working on a cure. They have their top moose on the case. Are we going to screw up these people that people stay? Heat resistance, cold resistance, bacterial resistance, drug resistance. There's no escaping Fallout 4. Fallout 4 is developed insomnia. How fitting. Oh my gosh, so many bubbles, so many bubbles, so many bubbles. It's just like a bathtub of bubbles and stuff. We're now more infectious than HIV, but at least we didn't kill Freddie Mercury. You know you've made it when we successfully infected a dingo and a gorilla. We've infected all 46 people in Greenland. Today is a day to celebrate. Fallout 4 Awareness Day, November 10th. Alright, now we have to set back the cure by popping blue cure bubbles and destroying beakers, I suppose? Alright, we have 103 evolution points. How should we wreck some people's day? It will be transmitted through everything! Ooh, our first airport's been shut down in Saudi Arabia. If Madagascar or Indonesia or Cuba or whatever sh get shut down, nope, nope, Cuba's pretty much screwed. So we're good! Fallout 4 is killing people! Fallout 4 is killing people! Very high levels of bird migration expected. Fallout 4! Fallout 4 has developed a sweating symptom, much like players of the game when talking to girls. Russia is completely infected. We got the bears, guys. We got the bears. Now that everyone's going to get infected and the secure work is speeding up, we really need to wreck some people's day. Diarrhea, paranoia, paralysis, and a coma. Sounds like all the Fallout 4 players a week after release. There's only a million people left healthy in the world. Every single country has been infected. Somehow it even got past Australia and their strict video game laws. Fallout 4 has finally killed someone they played for three straight weeks, did not talk to anyone, and refused to drink anything but Nuka-Cola. We've killed more people than the Black Death. Fallout 4 is literally worse than the worst plague in human history. Amid all this, somehow, Greenland is still open for business. I like how there's five guys somewhere in a lab thinking, We can still cure this! And everybody's dying around them. Then they come out and see that their friends and family are dead, and then they die. That, 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 that'd be sad. Insomnia and anemia are causing people to walk around gray with tiredness, just like people playing ball. Is anybody still alive? Could you just die already, please? Can we get this over with? There's gonna be a cure with like five people left. They're gonna have to reform civilization, like in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy Book 3.
five, four, three, two, one, and there, there, there we go, almost there, almost there, almost there, like, there we go, Fallout 4 has eradicated every single person on Earth, Bethesda made one heck of a game, this is what happens when you pre-order, and that's all I have to say, I'll see you all next time, and goodbye.